And while all the provinces are on board, not everyone is celebrating today, particularly in those sectors where Canada admitted it had to compromise. Catherine Cullen has that part of the story. The news from Brussels has representatives from many Canadian industries lining up to cheer. We're coining it the Wayne Gretzky of trade deals. This is a big deal. We believe that this is a significant achievement. We're extremely pleased to see that this deal has finally gone through. It's a good thing for the canola industry. But not everyone is feeling like a winner. Dairy farmers are angry there will now be more European cheeses available to Canadians, saying it will hurt production in this country. This is going to be potentially devastating for the fine cheese uh, segment of our, of our market. Uh, so the, the local artisanal cheesemakers stand to lose as much as a third of their share of the fine cheese market. Well, personally, I don't think there will be any hurt if there is any type of negative economic hurt that we will certainly look at compensation to keep them whole. We had, we had pledged that to them all along. Though how much compensation and how it will be distributed is still being worked out. Ottawa is also looking at compensation for provincial governments, which could wind up paying more if prescription drug costs go up. The deal is getting good grades from those governments everywhere from Alberta. It's going to make a tremendous difference to the way that our economy grows. It's very exciting and uh, we're very pleased with what we know so far. To Newfoundland and Labrador, Ontario and Quebec, all of whom had potential concerns about a deal. I think it's a very big deal. I think it's an historic agreement. Uh, in the same manner, it, uh, the, the, the agreement with the U.S. was uh, an historic agreement. Quebec does say it wants to see the dairy compensation plan before approving the deal. But Quebec's finance minister says he's not worried because it's in Ottawa's best interest to make this deal work. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Montreal.